Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios. In this video, I lied about in the last video saying that uh, I was going to combine the two. I'm probably going to do that in a future video, but for this video, I found it more important that I show you how to actually pass arguments into an RPC call because or an RPC because uh, that just makes sense. We didn't even see how to pass arguments. So what I'm going to do is I'm working off of my previous one with the guy and the sphere and all that. So I'm going to open up the guy. Uh, network object. I'm going to add in a new RPC here and it's going to have a few arguments uh, but uh, first we'll name it um, do something. There we go and we're going to add in one argument by hitting this green plus sign and that first argument is going to be a string and we'll just say name. This is actually useless so you can type whatever you want in here. This is just for you to be able to come back and when you open up the NCW know what this argument is actually for. So I'm gonna open up another one and I'm gonna pass in a vector three. I'm gonna call it position. And uh, we'll just have those two arguments um, because we don't need to have a whole bunch. I mean, we'll have one more. We'll have uh, count and we'll make that an int. All right, so we have three arguments a string, which is a name, a vector three, which is a position, and an integer, uh, or a count, which is an integer. And that's instead of our do something. So I'm gonna save and compile. And one of the first things you're gonna see when I compile is I'm gonna get an error saying the guy does not implement abstract member. Well, we added a new RPC call, which means that since I'm not implementing it, uh, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and implement it. So if you remember, we had a string first, then we had a vector three, and then we had an integer. So I'm going to create a private int count, assign it to zero here, um, or we can make this public just to prove a point. And we're gonna do a public string uh, sent name, and we're gonna do a public uh, we're just going to assign the position. We're not going to make another field for that. So we're going to do string name is equal to args dot get next string. Now what this does is it actually gets the next argument that's in the queue. So when you put arguments in, uh, they come out in the order that they were put in. So if you put a string in first, as we saw inside of the NCW, let me go over here and open it up. Uh, since we have, oh, let me save my script first real quick. Save, go back to Unity to get rid of that error. So if we open it up and we check out do something, we have string vector three int. That is the order that we need to pull them out in. So I do a string vector three, pause equals args dot get next vector three and int counter equals args dot get next int. So string vector three int, we're pulling them in the same order that we're going to be sending them in. Now you can do some other fancy stuff like uh, you can call get at and then pass in an uh, integer like one would get you position but that's too complicated for what we're trying to do here. We're going to keep it simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to debug dot log hello plus uh, name. So we're going to say hello name. And next we're going to assign the name, sent name equal to name. Uh, we're going to assign the count equal to the counter that was received. And we're going to set the transform dot position equal to the position we pulled out, which is just pause. Now that we've set up this do something, we need to call it just like we did with this spacebar. We'll just say if input uh, get key down, key code, uh, let's use, I don't know, B for cool. So we're going to call it the same way that we called this other one network object send RPC. Uh, we're going to pass in RPC underscore do something. That's the name of it. 
we're going to do receivers that all we don't want this to be buffered we're just going to send it whenever the person comes in and next we're going to pass in each of the arguments we'll keep this simple the first argument i'm going to pass in is forge which is a string that's going to be the first argument string the next argument that i'm going to pass in is going to be the position and we can make this some random position if we want so i'm going to make a random position uh, vector 3, rand pause equals new vector 3, and we're just going to put in some random numbers in here. Actually, let me just do random dot, I need to use unity engine random. Uh, oops. I'm going to have an ambiguous uh, call between the unity engine and system, so I need to do unity engine dot random dot value. Uh, in fact, I can get rid of this system namespace. It's not being used. There we go. Random value, random dot value, and random dot value. And of course, we can just multiply uh, each one of these by, let's say, five units, just so it's in some random position here. And I'm going to pass that rand pause as the second argument. So the first argument is a string, second argument is a vector three, the third argument is going to be an integer, which I'm just gonna make uh, plus plus count. So it increments and then sends. Now, also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so only the server can send this. So if input, uh, oh not input, if network object is server return, so if it's not, the server we're going to return so only the server can press this and yes that does mean that the client could press spacebar and it would send and uh, cause the the sphere to go up so that was the last stuff A quick recap we called send our pc with do something receivers all the first argument is a string second argument is a vector three third argument is an integer when that is received we pull out the string, vector3, and integer. We log out the name, we assign the name, we assign the count, and we assign the position to the position that was sent. Uh, since the server is sending this, the server is actually going to call this RPC as well. So you'll notice this because when we press spacebar, this random pause will be assigned to the server as well. So when you use receivers all, Server will call it on itself, as we noticed on the last example when we press spacebar to go up. So let's jump over, build it, test it out. Okay, I have my build. I'm going to start up my client. I'm going to host my server, join with my client. Now, on here, I'm going to select the sphere just so that I can see our properties. Notice we have sent name and count here. Come back here. I'm going to press spacebar. Look, it moves. I'm going to press B. So when I pressed B, notice that it moved to that random location. Let me turn on my logging here. You see it says, hello, Forge, with explanation points. Sent name got assigned to Forge and count as one. If I press B a bunch of times, it'll move in random space. It'll keep logging, and that counter will go up. Now, what you will notice uh, is that this counter is going up by one because we're just incrementing by one. The string is not changing because we're sending the same string. That's also why I went ahead and uh, made it log here so that you can see that it's actually sending each time. So that's it for sending the various data types across an RPC. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We may not do the whole combining fields and RPCs in uh, the next video because uh, frankly, you can kind of just take the two videos that you have for fields and RPCs and just put them together and voila. So we may go into explaining some of the other features of Forge, probably starting with the uh, main menu to see how we're hosting and how we're connecting, and then moving on to some of the samples that are the sample code that is provided as an example for you to start. So we'll see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, please ask any questions if you have them.